Hey guys, it is All Science here, and today we're going to learn how a smoke detector works. So here is our smoke detector. It is just a normal ionization smoke detector, and you'll see why it is called that in just a second. So here is your test switch that you'll push down right there. Here's a little LED light indicator. Now if we open this up, we have the speaker, which is right here because you have a vent right here so you can hear what's coming out but that has been clipped so we can get into here so we take that off we have the so here get a good look at that real quick you can pause the video and look at that and if we take that off you can see the components so right here was the ionization chamber <clears throat> which is where the reaction happens and then right here is your resistors all along here <clears throat> which is labeled R and then you have your test switch which is right here TS and then you have your capacitor now there's multiple capacitors on here but this is the one you see first which is labeled C and then you have your 9 volt battery compartment which is bat comp which is just short for battery compartment and it's really cool the way this works I'll show you guys in just a second so guys I know this may look a little confusing at first so this is our ionization chamber so up here we have the vents like you saw before we have the vents these are the non-interrupted ions that are just normally passing through and then if you ever fire you'll have smoke going through the vents which is represented by these arrows right here and then they will get interrupted which will trigger the alarm so basically we will have smoke that will come in Oopsies. We have smoke that will come in through here. But this is just a representation. Usually it would come through the vents, but some ionization chambers are different. Some have vents at like the front. But we'll have smoke come in through here. It will start interrupting these ions and then it will start it's not going to exactly look like that, but it's going to interrupt it, and that's just a good representation I found of it that I was able to make. And, uh, yeah, so this is our first model, and then this is our second model. So these, it, it, it looks like all one, but this is what it would look like if smoke entered into the vents and interrupted the ions. And then this is our non-interrupted ions model. So yeah, I hope you uh, hope this video helped you guys learn more about smoke detectors and what they do. So yeah, thank you guys for watching All Science, and I'll see you guys in the next video.